Hello everybody, this is Jack from tofluency.com. If you are new here, welcome. I want you to do two things. Firstly, subscribe, and then get my book. You can download this for free, tofluency.com slash book. There is a link in the description too. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad to go live today. It's been a crazy day. It's been, in British English, we say it's been mental. It's been mental. And basically, we've had a lot of people come to our house to give us quotes on things that we want to get fixed, okay? So, to get a quote, to get a quote. And this just means like a, an estimate about how much something is going to cost. Um, we've got a bunch of people joining, 70 already, wow. Maggie is here from Buenos Aires. Scarlett is here from Spain. Where in Spain are you from? Please let me know. Hanane is here from Brazil. Samuel from Brazil. And if you are watching the replay of this lesson, and unfortunately, you won't be able to see the, the live chat. But I'm going to read the comments so uh, it's not too confusing. Francesca from Italy, Virat from Turkey, Ayman from Egypt, Santiago from Argentina, Sol from Argentina, we've got Hind from um, Saudi Arabia, Samia, people from Russia, Maxime is here from France, I think, Murica, um, oh, Mercia, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's really funny, from Mercia. In, in Spain. Someone else was from Pamplona. Uh, I used to live in Bilbao and also in Valencia. I love those places. Emo's here. I have to pinch myself. I see your live lesson. Fantastic. Good to have you here. Emo watched all my lessons in about a week. Um, I have, what, nearly 400 videos on YouTube and he watched every lesson it was incredible so firstly I want to ask you a question can I yes ask me questions do you like cooking I love no I don't like cooking I mean sometimes I do but generally I don't like cooking and I say it's long time no long time no see it has been a long time so basically yes I've been at home all day trying to work my Website for teachers had a problem today, so I had to fix it. Then we had somebody come this morning to have a look at our house. We had someone come this afternoon to have a look at our house. And between them, they were here for about four or five hours. So I've been talking to them. They gave us quotes, okay? Um, they gave us quotes, so they gave us an estimate about how much certain things are going to cost. Okay, and someone asked me, is this your new house? It is, I'll show you. This is our house. That's Toby. Toby is bored. Say hi, Toby. And then, I'm not gonna get up from my seat, but here you can see the kitchen. We've got a table over there. That's outside, you can see the view. The TV is over here. Um, it's a cool, it's a cool house. We like it. And then we have another room over here, and then rooms upstairs. Um, this is the first time I've seen you live. Very cool. What's the best way to pronounce cool? Cool. So, cool. Um, yeah, I like that. The best way to pronounce cool. Do you have a purpose or aim that you want to realize? Yeah, I want to I want to have my big life goal at the moment, my ambition is to help as many English learners as possible through my videos, my book, um and to be able to benefit from this financially too. So this is like uh, this is my goal I've had for the last 7 years. And I just love it. I just think it's the best. I wake up every morning wanting to do work. Do you know how to say bad words in Spanish? Of course I do. 
My favourite one was Jolín, um, because there's another word for that which is a little bit stronger. I feel like children use that all the time too. Did you do you watch Shark Tank? Do you watch Shark Tank? I used to watch Dragon's Den, which I think was the original version, the British version, and then Shark Tank is the American version. I've never seen Shark Tank. Um, we don't watch TV. I want to. I want to watch TV, but my son goes to sleep about ten thirty p.m. And we're far too tired because then my daughter wakes up at 6. So we have no time to watch TV at the moment. We want to watch Game of Thrones, but we can't. Let's see. How do you prepare an online class? What do you teach in regular classes? Well, I haven't taught a regular class for three years now. Um, because I do all my on teaching online. It's more fun for me. Uh, so I haven't done a, a regular class for quite a long time now. When can I use have to and gotta? It's confusing me. They're quite flexible. Um, you've got to do it. You have to do it. It's flexible. You can use both. They're just two different ways to say it. Um, yeah, two different ways. I have to go or I gotta go. You can use both. In spoken English, you will hear I gotta go. Okay? But in more formal or I guess the safer option is I have to go or I have got to go. Hi, I'm from Peru. I've learned a lot with you. I love Peru. I spent time in uh, in Lima, Cusco. Um, where else? Wakachina? Pisco, I think. Is that one? And another place. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I love Peru. How do you spend your regular day? Usually I wake up about six o'clock, I come downstairs with my daughter, then my son wakes up, then I look after my children, I look after the dogs, there's no time for me to do anything, and then I go to the office, I spend about seven hours in the office, and then I come home and um, I just cook dinner, play with my son, all those kind of things. I'll show you our yard, actually. I will go outside because the one thing, not the one thing, but one thing, you know, one of the reasons why, come on, Lyle, why we got this new house is because, oh, the weather is amazing, because of this yard. So maybe I can show you a lot of it. It goes up there to the front of the house comes down the side of the house and then we have all this space back here where my son and I play soccer and frisbee and then I don't know if you can see but there are some mountains that you can see this is our bedroom you can see the mountains from the bedroom and then up here there's a, a trail that goes to the top of that mountain and that's where we go hiking these days but we we just love this yard it is amazing it's just incredible I feel so lucky to have it you know the the house has a few problems um, but I don't sometimes I don't care because this yard is amazing we have the mountain over here as well and it's really peaceful you can hear birds you can hear insects and there are a lot of bears in this neighborhood too. My wife saw a bear last week. The neighbors over here, they saw a bear yesterday. There are hawks everywhere. You see them all the time when you hear them. And we just love it. It's, it's amazing. I feel really fortunate. I feel really fortunate. And um, this last week, it's been really cool. It's been about 25 degrees, and it's just been really nice to spend some time outside. We don't have any mosquitoes at the moment as well. I feel so fortunate. I feel very grateful to be here. Radia, are you happy? Um, yeah, I am. 
Um, generally speaking, I'm a very happy person. I do feel anxiety at times because I have children and having children is it's very stressful at times but I love it you know um, I love it let's have a look let's see all hell is going to break loose is this a rude expression no it's not a rude expression it's not a rude expression at all um, hi I'm from Mexico can you give me some tips to pass the TOEFL test with 600 points I don't know a lot about the TOEFL test Here's a British ex expression, these bloody dogs, they bark all day. Um, but I don't know a lot about the TOEFL test. I recommend looking at lots of examples of the, the TOEFL test and um, just improving your English in general. Loud Toby, come here. They're silly. Um, did you lose more weight? I did. I weighed myself yesterday. I'm 176 pounds, but I've lost too much muscle. So, yeah, I need to do some exercises, more exercises. Let's have a look. Hey Jack, do you want to grow your hair as much as you can tie? Well, I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow because it's a mess. So, Toby, wild. My daughter's sleeping at the moment. That's why I only have a little bit of time. My wife went to the gym with my son. So I'm just chilling out at home. It's it's really nice, actually. It's really nice. Um, ah, when do I use these words? Birthday or anniversary, teacher, professor. So a birthday is like, you know, when, when you're 12. I don't know why I said 12, but you know, my birthday is on the 26th of October. An anniversary is like the amount of time someone has been together in general. So my wife and I are going to celebrate. I don't know why I gave that example because I can't remember when we got married. My wife and I are gonna celebrate our eighth wedding anniversary in two weeks yeah that's cool isn't it in about two weeks we're going to celebrate it then we want to see your dog that is barking in the video the two that's Toby that's Lyle oh Lyle Lyle is very upset right now because there might be a dog there might be another dog it's so funny these dogs on average, how long do you think it takes to properly speak English when someone is not native? Well, um, think about the levels of English, like the B1, B2, C1 level of English. What level you want to reach? And then know that it depends on the hours you spend studying every day and also what you do with your time. So it's important that you spend time um, doing the right things and that's why I say get my book because I share the methods that are going to work and I also help you create a, a plan of action so you actually do the things you have to do where do you live Asheville North Carolina A S H E V I L L E Asheville Asheville It is day, not night right now. Yeah, it is about five o'clock, I think. Let's see, I'm just scrolling through the questions. Jack, have you seen my email from Gabriella? Oh, there's thunder. Did you hear the thunder? We might get a storm. Gabriella, um, I don't think so. I, <laughs> I've been getting about 100 emails a day recently. And I haven't done my emails today. I've only done a few, so I need to do um, I need to do some emails soon. What's the proper word to ask about someone's weight? How much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? 
<laughs> you can see the different like tone and intonation. How much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? It's not an easy question to ask, is it? What Moroccan city do you know? Marrakesh? That's about it. There's a plane overhead. Got Wafi from Sudan. Um, what is the origin of the name Jack? I don't know. It's a great question. We've got Ola from Syria. Do you have a book for phrasal verbs? No, but I have a playlist on my YouTube channel with about 30 phrasal verb lessons. So uh, check it out. Check it out on my YouTube channel. You're on my YouTube channel. Can you give an example of hold your horses? Yeah, that, that's actually an expression that's, it, it, it's used, you know, it's used quite regularly. Um, it's when someone tries to get, to, to start something or to do too much too soon. Um, so I might say to Kate, hey Kate, let's book a holiday to France and then Spain and then Iceland. We'll also book one to South Carolina and then we'll go to California. And she'll say, hold your horses, like, calm down, calm down. Let's not get, let's not try to do too much too soon. No, it's not my wife, she's not home. May you sing a song for us, Ed Sheeran for example. Um, yeah, I'm not going to sing. I sang in one of my lessons. Look at the video I made when I celebrated 30,000 subscribers. Go check that out. Jack, are you still trying to learn French? No, but I'm going to this year. Like I said, it's my third priority. Business and health and fitness are number one. And number two and then a family are always number one but health and fitness and my business those are the most important things French is number three and because it's been a crazy year I haven't I haven't done much are you learning Spanish yeah I mean I, I used to learn a lot of Spanish um, and I do speak quite good Spanish. Are you at home or on your vacation? I am at home. This is our new place. Uh, have you got a vegetable garden? Irene is here. I don't. We had one in our old house, but um, we stopped using it. We stopped using it because the weeds, a great phrase, the weeds took over, which means that the weeds dominated this. I was listening to the radio today and when the song played, I remembered you singing. <laughs> yeah. What did I sing? There's a party going on right here. A celebration to last throughout the year. So bring your good times and your laughter too. We're going to celebrate your party with you. Come on now. That's what I sang. Here's a question. What's the most beautiful language to you? I think it's, this is strange, but I think French and Russian. I like Russian. I think it sounds so, I think Russian sounds cool to me, but French is one of the most beautiful ones. I love Italian as well. Italian sounds great. <laughs> um... Loads of comments are coming in. People are saying that I sing well. Uh, can you sing some song in Spanish? Yeah. Actually, I rapped in Spanish two days ago. Um, si me necesitas llama, ¿por qué no? Apunta a tu milicuizo por la noche. I can't remember all the words now, but Mara Rodriguez. I love it. Um, have you ever tried to learn Arabic? No, I learned a little bit of Persian. Um, if you're from Iran, maybe you understand. What else could I sing in Spanish? We used to sing things in Spanish. 
There was a really catchy song about eight years ago. Oh, what was it? We used to sing it all the time. It was so much fun. Can you explain why you still learn French wasn't right? You answered me saying you are still, I am not. Uh, yeah, uh, so you can ask the question, are you still learning French? And I can just say, I'm not. Um, but if I answer in the positive, I can say, yeah, I'm still learning French. Have you started studied Portuguese? Um, no. I could say a few, I can say, I can understand Portuguese because it's so similar to Spanish. Sometimes I can read like a full Facebook post and understand every word. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've i said a few words in, in Portuguese in the past, I just can't remember. If you write a few sentences, like basic phrases, I can say them for you. Sing Despacito, please. Say the name of the Brazilian football of a Brazilian football team. Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> I recognise a lot, but I can't think of any Brazilian football teams. What are your favourite bands? I always say Arctic Monkeys, Bob Dylan, and Neil Young, my favourite artists. I'm just going back to the comment section. In Colorado, weeds took over, if you understand me. I do understand you. How to pronounce a past verb, ed, to, and edu, wanted to see, wanted you to say. Yeah, a lot of this, the, a lot of these phrases get linked together. So you, you sometimes you will see, um, I wanted to go, but in spoken English, you'll hear, I wanted, I wanted to go, I wanted to go, I wanted to go. And it's just so quick, so quick, so, so quick. Um, it happens very quickly. And I wanted you, I wanted you to go, I wanted you to go. So that that's one of those things. Um, Anna, free Russian classes for you twice a week, Jack. If you have it as a fourth priority or higher, seriously, you're inspiring. Thank you so much. That is so kind. Um, I can say a few words in Russian. Brivit, Dacha, Zapoy. That last one is probably quite funny. But, um, yeah, I don't know much Russian. I... What I'm going to do over the next month is to really think about priorities. And this is a good exercise for you as well. Like to think about your priorities and if you want to spend more time learning English, if you want to spend time learning something else, if you want to learn time working on your business, it's so important to think about these things. Um, and I think it's like a great thing to do. What does kind of mean? Kind of. Um, it, it means like kind of. A little bit. I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of tired. I'm kind I'm, or I'm kind of tired. A little bit. What do you think about the song Despacito? My daughter loves it. So my wife played it again today. And she, she dances. She does this. She dances. I like it. It's fun. It reminds me of um, music from South America. Like, Pásame la botella, voy a beber en un nombre de ella. That's, I actually met my wife. That's the song that reminds me of meeting my wife. Because I played it in bars and clubs in Ecuador, in Quito, when I met her. Okay, some people are writing some strange phrases in Portuguese. É isso aqui, se tu manja mesmo. Cool. Um, tongue twister. Tres tigres tristes para tres pratos de trigo. Is learning phrasal verbs worth it? Definitely. Definitely. But don't just learn a list of phrasal verbs. Instead, learn them in context 
and know the true meaning of phrasal verbs because what can happen is people learn a phrasal verb look at the definition or translation and then they'll just like try to use it but in the wrong way so learn phrasal verbs in context did you go to El Clasico Jack no I only went to one football match in Spain and it was um, Bilbao versus Valencia but I've watched a lot of El Clasico I've watched a lot of those games do you like reading classic novels I don't like reading novels I haven't read a novel in 10 years. I read non-fiction. It's just who I am. Same goes for modals. Yeah, learn modals in, in context. Oh, hi, good to see you here. Yeah, learn modals in context, if that's what you're trying to say. No, it's not my wife. Hi from London, good to have you. Why is learning British English hard? It's all relative. For some people, British English is easier, but it's all relative and what you grew up learning, what you learned as a child. Um, so it's all relative. By the way, I'm looking for my wife. I'm gonna see when she comes. Is that her? No. Do you know the channel of Karina? Fragasso, Brazilian English teacher. I don't, but I've spoken to, I might be her, I've spoken to a famous, um, a very popular Brazilian English teacher, and I need to actually talk to her again because we're going to collaborate. So, Michael is here, good to have you. We spoke by email. Have you been to China? I've not been to China. What do you think about the UK's weather? It's always raining and cold, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's just grey and rainy. Jack, do you understand Portuguese? Yeah, I do quite well, but, you know, it depends. It depends. Like, I can, if I watch the news, I can understand the news. Can you hear the thunder? According to you, which country is safer than the other, US or UK? Great question. The UK statistically is safer, but I feel safer in America. It's a strange thing, but statistically, it's more dangerous to live in America, I think. I think. Hello from Saudi Arabia. Can you speak accents? Cockney or Scouser? I can speak, I, I can speak Scottish quite well. It takes me some time sometimes to speak Scottish. And we yells. I like to speak. That's terrible. Um, and then Dan Seth. Truffle. Trifle. Hello. <laughs> it's not very good. Um, hi, I had my English exam last week and guess what? I passed. Yay. I really love this language. That's such a great comment. Can I like comments? I'm going to add you as a moderator. I can add people as moderators. Anna, congratulations. Um, you see, with learning languages, you can sometimes feel down, you can sometimes feel happy. And I think the key is just to stay consistent no matter what. To stay consistent all the time so that you're constantly learning and improving. Um, so yeah, it's, it, uh, but congratulations, it's great. You know, you should celebrate when you have any kind of success. When you learn a new word, when you pass an exam, when you understand a YouTube video. Jack, do you like national football team matches like the World Cup? And do you support England? Yeah, I do. I like watching national football team um, matches, especially the World Cup and the Euros, and yeah, I like I like uh, England. Um, let's have a look. Are American movies translated to British accent? No, never. Always an American. 
Okay, I'm going to have to go. Because I think my baby has worked up. Derek says Preston fan. I am a Preston fan. I'm a big Preston North End fan. Um, I'm excited about this season. Mexico, let's have a look. Okay, I have to go because my baby is crying. She has just woken up. We did half an hour, like I said, fantastic. Um, again, if you're new, go um, subscribe here. Please like and share this video. This has been such a great, um, this has been such a great lesson. I've really enjoyed it. And get my book, The Five Step Plan for English Fluency to fluency.com slash book. There's a link in the description. Click that link, enter your details, and you'll get it. Okay, I've got to go. I'm sorry. She's woken up. You can probably hear her. Speak to you all soon. I'll be live again probably on Thursday. Bye for now.